What's up, wonderful people? I am G Storm, and today we are in Destin, Florida. We are here for the next four days, and we're gonna have some unforgettable moments and a whole bunch of excitement here. I'm going to show you the white sandy beaches and crystal clear blue waters of Destin, Florida. Before we get started, I ask you to like, share, and subscribe. But now, here we go. Let's get started. happy people so it is day two here in Destin Florida you see my plants they're doing very well but today it has been raining a lot so we're getting a very late start today um, I had an idea to go to aquarium but the aquarium out here is outside so what I'm going to do instead is do a couple of things such as go to the movies hit up the mall and maybe go give me some ice cream and then maybe go to a nice restaurant we'll see where today leads us but most of our day will be inside today so I see you guys at the movies all right, happy people. So we are on our way to the movies today. Um, initially, we were gonna go to the aquarium down here in Destin, Florida, but it was outside. And as you can see, it was not the best day to be outside due to the wet conditions. And then it was also pretty chilly that day. So I decided to take myself to the movies and also try and go to the mall. At this point, I had been in a hotel room for pretty much half of the day and it was about one o'clock PM. So I decided to go and see Ghostbusters to pass the time until it was time to eat dinner and i just didn't want to waste the day down there in florida so that's why i decided to at least just show you guys some movies and then me going out to dinner but anyways we have just pulled up to the movies and we're about to go watch ghostbusters so come with me to watch ghostbusters at the regal cinema all right everybody so we just got to the cinema and we're going to watch ghostbusters um, today we're gonna pretty much just chill inside because it's very cold outside i wore some shorts and i got my jacket tied around my waist this is not really the best idea because how cold it is so if you hear me coughing and sneezing in later videos you guys know the reason why this will be the reason why but yeah so i'm getting ready to head into the venue give me some popcorn maybe a pizza pizza and go sit down and watch some so before heading into the actual theater, I got me a couple of snacks here at the snack bar at the movie theater. And then I went to the restroom and then I headed into the movie theater. So guys, I'm about to go enjoy the movie and then I'll see you guys after the movie. All right, everybody, so the movie Ghostbusters was amazing. Um, so I'm leaving the cinema right now and uh, I'm gonna head back to the hotel because the mall is, I mean, it's existent, but it's not really what I'm used to seeing when I see a mall. It's not anything that really excites me here. So I'm gonna head back to the hotel and also I'm gonna show you guys my plants. I'm gonna go check on my plants. I'm gonna tell you everything that I'm growing as well. So I'll see you guys back at the hotel. Yes, yeah, so everybody, we are going to head back to the hotel now to go rest a little bit. And I'm going to tell you guys about my plants. I think I told you guys about this in the last video, but I'm actually trying to grow some plants uh, to be pretty much a sustainable living person to where I can live off the stuff that I make. That's why I like doing fishing. That's why I like growing plants. And that's why I like um, eventually I want to get me some goats as well. So, but yeah, let's head back to the hotel and I'll tell you guys all about my plants. You guys will see it in a second. Also, I want you guys to like, share, and subscribe. I know this is not the most exciting video. That's because this is just all kind of random. Normally, I have my stuff planned out. But please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you're liking this video so far. All right, everybody. So I have just made it back to the hotel. And like I said, the movie theater, I want to show you guys a little bit about the plants that I'm growing um so right here i'm growing a watermelon fair mills watermelon and then here i'm growing a livingston watermelon 
Um, these should be about 25 to 30 pounds for each watermelon that is grown on these uh, plants. And then the next one is cantaloupes. I only have like one of these that has sprouted so far. And I grow these from small little seeds and up all the way into the big cantaloupe that you'll see. Got some sunflower seeds right here. Um, cucumbers, cucumbers doing very well. Uh, right here we have the okra. Uh, this first plant, I uh, kind of pull the seed off way too quickly. And that's why I kind of look kind of burnt, but it's it's surviving. And this one's having a little trouble too, this piece of okra right here, but I think it'll be okay. I just add maybe a little bit more water, a little bit more sunlight, and it'll be okay. And I'm also growing some broccoli. So this was the first broccoli to sprout. I have broccoli planted all the way to here and all the way to right here. And then the last plant that I have growing right now is some bell peppers, some sweet bell peppers. I don't see any of them uh, germinating or growing. So maybe there's some late bloomers, but um, I hope they grow. And if they grow, you guys will definitely know. If not, I'll still tell you guys if they grow or not. But uh, I'm going to relax for a little bit because in about 30 minutes to an hour, I'm going to start getting ready to head out and go to one of the nice restaurants down here in Destin, Florida to have some nice dinner. All right, everyone. So it is time for me to head to dinner. And I must say this restaurant that I'm going to really reminded me of all the cruises that I've been on, whether it was Carnival, Warrior Caribbean, Norwegian. It reminded me of every single cruise ship um, dining hall that I've been on. The name of the restaurant is Louisiana Laniat. And it was actually really good. It had some nice red snapper that I had ate there. Um, I still haven't found a place that can compare to a restaurant called Papa Zook in Antigua. Papa Zook is really good, but uh, we are almost to the restaurant and I cannot wait to show you guys all the food they have to offer. All right, everyone, so I've just made it to the restaurant. Your boy dressed up a little bit, looking real cool. Um, I'm not really sure how to say the name, so I'm just gonna put the name of the restaurant right here on the screen. But yeah, this is a very nice restaurant. I'm getting ready to walk up to it. I kind of have what I want uh, to eat picked out already, so this should be nice. i see you guys on the inside. everyone so i just got into the restaurant and on the menu it actually says how to pronounce the restaurant name it's called louisiana lanyap so you want to know where it's at look up louisiana lanyap So this is different. They give you hush puppies to start with. Um, I've never seen this at a restaurant before. But I guess we gotta eat it. Hey everybody, again, we're starting off healthy. I got me another salad. This is a house salad with ranch. Um, I ordered some red snapper and the red snapper comes with a twice baked potato and it also comes with two hush puppies. Brandon already ate some hush puppies during the appetizer. Me some more when they come out uh, later with my red snapper. Yeah, everyone, so so far I'm really enjoying this restaurant. It reminds me a lot of going on a cruise ship, specifically uh, Royal Caribbean's dining restaurant. It's very elegant and it has some very great options. The menu is a little bit on the expensive side, but that's fine because it's good food. Everybody, so this is my food. This is the red snapper. It's stuffed with crab meat and I think it has some shrimp in it as well. Um, I have a twice baked potato and some, I don't know what it's called, but it's got corn and tomatoes, and it looks like some sort of green leaves and onions and lemons. So, I'm about to dig in, and I'll let you guys know if it tastes good. So the food was actually really good. This is good. The potato, as you can tell, is really good. And fish was really good. It just gave me a lot of it. So, if you come here, you will definitely be full after eating, so you get your money's worth and they kept the hush puppies coming as well. But anyways, I'm about to get ready to end this vlog. I hope you all enjoyed today's vlog. 
gonna get ready to end this vlog right here. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. G-Storm out, much love.